Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got a really awesome ROM okay this is called the ultimatum by the A Factor that is the uh, person who made this I guess he is a member of the team uh, Experience Cyanogen so uh, you guys know it's gonna be awesome right uh, so let's get into the ROM okay this is a really awesome ROM like I said uh, it has a lot of features it has a lot of performance features as well as a lot of uh, visual perks I guess which you can use to have an awesome ROM so uh, what you see now is the uh, ROM with Timescape UI uh, I haven't uh, I have changed the theme okay you have the Timescape UI here Xperia S and anyway happens right okay you have this okay here is the timescape UI with all the features of uh, Xperia tie up okay you have the timescape here so that's there okay uh, about this ROM this has a lot of features such as uh, the installer itself you can uh, select what you want okay so I'm going to start uh, reading out the performance features right it has a zero entropy applied internally through new Havinged engine it's something they call have its engine so this is cool power saving tweaks full BLN support you can see that right uh, awesome these are the softwares which with it comes it has an awesome audio tweak it has wiper audio and ultimate mega bus audio so you can choose from that with in the uh, aroma installer it does have an aroma installer so you can see that right it does have LMT uh, which is gesture based uh, navigation I guess it's pretty cool again a quick pick for gallery newsy media studio I guess it's not available from the play store so I don't know uh, how this guys got it or something okay you can't see the status bar right now because I just changed the theme you have to restart it so uh, I'm now going to walk you through the uh, aroma installer okay in the meantime I will show you guys what this is about so uh, here we are at the aroma installer for the ultimatum by a factor okay so you can see it is uh, the aroma version 1 only for galaxy is 5830 so not for 5830 ic or whatever the hell that is okay so next okay uh, system info you can have partition information and all let's go into installation okay here are the three user interfaces you can have in this ROM again okay, there's the timescape timescape experience style which you have seen uh, as of now previously the hollow jelly bean style with the uh, Android 4 and about thing so that's well I guess that's pr getting pretty boring right so you can have a different version of that okay uh, Metro that is Windows style which is for the Windows uh, Windows 7 style well, Windows 8 style so that's pretty cool too so uh, I'm going to stick with uh, timescape UI okay now here is what uh, I was talking about the DSP so it is uh, audio customization you have uh, the choice of uh, beats bass easy to use and low memory consumption right and you have wiper effects so that is advanced DSP with higher memory consumption so uh, you I would suggest you guys try this out uh, try both of them and uh, Settle on one. Okay, if you are uh, happy with beats bass you can use that it does have a lower memory consumption resulting in a better battery life I guess so that would be pretty neat wiper effects is pretty good. Okay. I use uh, wiper effects for myself. So That's there. Okay now next Okay, there there are uh, two kernels available swap all kernel and fire kernel okay fire kernel is the uh, one which you guys must be loving and uh, you guys must have used it it's an awesome kernel it has a lot of features it's pretty cool okay uh, you can use that or there is a swap all kernel which is actually a modified version of uh, the fire kernel with uh, ext4 support you, you can have an ext4 support uh, partition in your sd card to add it to the system memory so that you can expand your internal memory so if you have a uh, ext partition you can get that okay it is given here right uh, so all if you have ext4 partition class 6 or above memory card class 4 is experimental 
else choose default okay uh, else you have to choose this one okay if you don't have a uh, exd4 partition sd card you have to choose this one or the device board boot so that's something you have to keep in mind i'm going to choose swap all i do have a partition now kernel you do you want uh, overclock or non overclock i would say let's just fit, go with uh, no overclock okay uh, run specification cyanogen mod official unofficial cyan mobile experience or extract mode okay uh, whatever you were you rom you were uh, using you can um, extract the in nit raf M fm ram fm so that thing <laughs> will be extracted okay i would use official let's go with that wi-fi driver ktq kte or current i would select don't change whatever i was using you have the uh, extra uh, governors available in fire kernel i mean i just go with typical you can see what all are extra okay let's just install now and uh, we'll talk about it again so um, okay guys it's installed now and i will be restarting the device to show you guys the boot animation so uh, here is it booting up it's going to be a long boot so i will just show you guys the boot animation and uh, we'll skip to the one so as you can see it is the fire kernel the, with the fires coming out of the screen it's awesome actually i really like the animation or whatever the uh, picture here so that's pretty neat uh, final kernel is pretty awesome at that and here is the boot animation uh, this is the ultimatum it's really awesome so uh, that goes on for a while and this is its first boot so uh, it will be going on for a while so I'll just skip into the log so guys uh, here is the ROM all booted up and uh, ready to rock so um, you can see this is the lock screen the standard Sanogenma lock screen so yeah you have that uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that you do have a volume uh, the brightness slider here which is awesome I really want that okay and you have a center clock uh, the usual uh, the uh, signal bar and the batteries things uh, available there there is a patch available for you to change the uh, center clock to right side clock for those who are uh, well bothered with the a lot of notification just blocking it out or something like that so it is available you can uh, opt for that if you want so I guess that is it about this ROM okay uh, the best feature i guess of this rom is that you have the ability to choose from a lot of this okay you have the ability to choose the theme uh, the ability to choose the uh, audio drivers or something like that so that's pretty neat okay you have you don't have to expand or mix and match on your own to have the perfect blend of the rom you need so that's pretty neat so uh, i guess that is it be sure to check out the timescape by this guy so that's pretty neat okay you have to uh, sign in and stuff like that before you uh, start that so that's there so uh, I guess that is it uh, be sure to subscribe if you like it and if you really like it please leave a like and share the video it really helps out so uh, I guess that is it bye